Icon Serena Williams made headlines off the court after the birth of her daughter, Alexis Olympia. Her near-death experience following an emergency C-section and a history of blood clots opened the eyes of many. Morning anchor Kirsten O'Connor hears about those risks in tonight's Getting Results for Your Health. Listen to Jude. <laughs> we met mommy-to-be Tamara Drummond listening to her baby's heartbeat. At 35 weeks pregnant, Drummond says she's excited and nervous to meet her son, Jude. We met up with her at the Easy Access Women's Health Clinic in Pine Hills. I tried a few other places, however, you know, because I was so far along, they said that I'm a liability. A liability, she says, because she was too far along in her pregnancy. She moved to Florida from Jamaica and sought care after her first trimester. Jenny Joseph is the executive director of Common Sense Childbirth and says Drummond's situation is not uncommon in Central Florida. Majority of the people that are coming in through my clinics aren't coming necessarily because they want a midwife. They're coming because we're the only safety net. According to the Centers for Disease Control, the risk of pregnancy-related deaths for black women is three to four times higher than the risk for white women. The issue brought into the public eye last year when tennis legend Serena Williams gave birth and explained her near-death postpartum experience in a Vogue interview. Joseph says keeping the door open is the first step to getting results and changing that statistic. Because immediately we can do the triage. We can see, oh, you're safe to stay here. We are midwives, so we take low-risk cases. Or no, you're not safe to stay here, but we can get you now to a physician or to a perinatologist high-risk clinic. Access first, connections, education and support for the families. But it doesn't stop there. I do see a lot of women doing a lot of research. Joseph's patient, Akila Collier, says it's time to stop the blame game. Maybe they um, are have a, a language barrier and they need someone to sit down with them and explain to them the um, terminology on the applications. You know, they have people that will hold your hand step by step to make sure that, you know, you're insured so that you can have proper care. And right after her interview with Kirsten, Jenny Joseph was on her way to the Vatican to share her work on maternal health in Florida with the Pope. And I tell you, wow. I've met her several times. She is incredible and in doing such amazing work in our community. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I think we've done a lot of stories yeah, with her in she's the past great. as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah.